Hello everyone, this is Mike from Windows7Forms.com. In this video, I'm going to teach you all about Windows System File Checker. Windows System File Checker is a utility that was created in Microsoft Windows by Microsoft. It allows you to scan for and restore corruptions in Windows System Files. This utility is available on Windows 98, Windows 2000, Windows XP, and Windows Server. Windows Vista, although it's in the Windows NT family of operating systems, scan files using the Windows Resource Protection, uh, which is a little bit different. Uh, due to problems with applications in Windows, being able to override system files in Windows 95, Microsoft implemented a number of security measures to protect the Windows system files from malicious attacks, corruption, or problems. One of those problems was known back in the days of Windows 95 and Windows 98 as DLL Hell, and that was when you, you had too many DLL files being installed by programs causing blue screens on your Windows 95 or Windows 98 machine. Any of you that have been out there for a long time using computers will remember this problem quite vividly. System File Checker was introduced on Windows 98 as a graphical user interface utility. It offered scanning and restoration of corrupted system files by matching the version number against the database containing the original version uh, determined by file extension and file path. It was able to restore files from the installation media or a source specified by the user. Windows 98 did not offer real-time system protection beyond file attributes. Therefore, no preventative or reactive measure was available. All Windows NT-based operating systems since Windows 2000 introduced real-time file protection called Windows File Protection or WFP. That means that your Windows system files are constantly being protected in real time under certain conditions. In addition, the System File Checker utility, which is sfc.exe, was re-implemented as a more robust command line utility that integrated the Windows File Protection Schema. Unlike the Windows 98 SF SFC utility, the new utility forces a scan of protected system files using Windows File Protection and allows the immediate silent restoration of system files from the DLL cache folder or installation media. One of the big problems in Windows XP was that whenever a problem was found uh, via the sfc.exe or the system file checker, you would always have to go back to the Windows XP installation media. A lot of people didn't have it. And after a few service packs, it started to become almost unusable. However, in Windows Vista and Windows 7, this resource is working well. It requires no additional media. In Windows ME, or Millennium Edition, System File Checker was replaced with System File Protection, or SFP. Similar to Windows File Protection, System File Protector, Protection offers real-time protection, the standalone SFC utility was removed and not available in Windows Millennium Edition. However, that all changed because after Windows Millennium Edition, people started using Windows 2000, Windows XP, and these are based on the NT, Windows NT line of operating systems and not the old Windows 95, Windows 98, and uh, Windows uh, Millennium Edition. In Windows NT based operating systems, System File Checker can be evoked quite easily using a command prompt. It uses the command sfc space forward slash scan now. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and demonstrate how exactly this is done right now. What we do is we go to start we see the search menu here. We type in CMD. Okay, CMD. Now, if we go up, we'll see the command console. What we want to do is we do not click on it right away, please. 
what we need to do more than anything else is right click on this item and run as administrator. If you do not run the command console as administrator and confirm it with user account control as yes, you will not be able to run system file protector correctly. What you do now is type in S as in Steven, F as in Francis, C as in Captain, space, forward slash, scan, now, all one word, and press enter. Now, I just spoke a lot of mumbo jumbo about what exactly this thing was and what it is, but what it basically does is make sure that your Windows system files have not been corrupted by a malicious attack, an accidental deletion, some sort of bad software, etc. Hard, hard drive corruption seems to be high on the list with this software. Many times we've found errors using this uh, software uh, this way. Now I'll go into a little bit more detail. If the system file checker finds a problem, it will attempt to replace the problematic files with the DLL cache or cache in the Windows directory, System32, DLL cache. If the file is not in the cache or the DLL cache or cache is corrupted, the user will be prompted to insert the Windows installation media, which is usually the Windows disk or USB device, whatever you installed uh, Windows with, or if you have a local copy of it on your hard drive, that, that's fine. You'll have, or you'll provide a network installation path. That's if you have Windows on a network. Usually some major universities have that, colleges have it, and many businesses have uh, the Windows installation uh, software that way. But there's a lot of them that don't. And I would say that more don't than do when they really should have it there. In Windows Vista and onwards, files are protected using access control lists. These are called ACLs. However, the above command has not changed. System file checker in Windows Vista and Windows 7 can scan specific individual files. Scans can be performed against offline Windows installation folders to replace corrupt files in case the Windows installation is not bootable. So even if you can't get into Windows, you can still run this command. For performing offline scans, System File Checker must be run from another working installation of Windows or from the Windows Setup DVD which gives access to the Windows recovery environment. So remember, when you're able to boot up with your installation disk, hopefully you got one from Dell, HP, Gateway, or whatever company provided you with your computer, they should have given you a copy of the Windows installation media. Um, you go into the Windows recovery environment and you can run this to try to restore your operating system. And as you can see, it's still chugging along here. So we will hold off real quick and wait until the next stage. Hello. Well, some time has now gone by. And as you can see, the system scan began. The process took, did take some time. The verification phase completed. There was a 100% verification rate and Windows resource protection or system file checker do not find any integrity violations. Now, in the instance that a problem was found, not only would Windows 7 or Windows Vista or even Windows XP begin the process of restoring uh, those corrupt system files, uh, but almost definitely you would have no problem with your system the files would be completely replaced with legitimate ones and your trouble would be over. Now I've given you a history and rundown of how this utility works but very rarely uh, does the common user of a computer know anything about this command. And this command is very powerful. 
um, it can check again for Windows system files the files that are at the core of your computing operating system that allows your system to function that allows you as a person using a human interface device such as a mouse or keyboard to use your computer for productivity for entertainment to look up resources this is what the operating system does and with a failing operating system you can't really get anything done but with the system file checker with Windows resource protection and Windows file protection you now have real security in that sense so please you should try this command if you've never tried it before and if you've had a Windows computer for a long time you should try this command and see what happens you should compute in confidence. You should never have fear about your computer security. Once you understand the processes and the requirements that are necessary to maintain your computer, all of a sudden, Windows doesn't seem like such an insecure operating system anymore. As a matter of fact, it starts looking like one of the easiest ones to use and one of the best ones in in terms of security because when you understand just basic ins and outs when you understand that most antivirus software that is bundled with computers is garbage uh, when you understand that there are really good antivirus software out there and anti-malware programs out there uh, when you understand that you can execute commands like this that will check your system and secure your system and when you understand that you can make reliable backups of your system, you start to realize, especially after the release of Windows 7, that you can compute in confidence and you can use your computer with confidence. And once you reach that stage, the possibility for knowledge is limitless. And so I'm happy to have given you the history of System File Checker. I'm happy to demonstrate its use for you. And I'm hopeful that you will use this command line uh, utility uh, whenever you need to in order to check your Windows system files and ensure that they are safe. Now take care, have a great day, and please visit Windows7Forums.com for the latest information and news in regards to computer security, Windows 7, Windows 7 support and any other possible information regarding Windows technology, Microsoft technology and technology in general that you would like to look for, discuss and respond to. Perhaps you're an expert, perhaps you know nothing about computers. Windows 7 Forms offers everyone the opportunity to join, create a profile and really participate in a worldwide community of information technology users. So thank you very much, uh, take care, and hope you enjoyed the video.